Hello everyone, how are you guys? Um, I just want to start off by saying that I miss you all so much and I'm so ready to go back and start doing hair. Um, now with a lot of time that I have on my hands, I was, I know a lot of us still have a lot of Zoom meetings and we have like conference calls on Zoom. So I was thinking of what we can do to keep our hair looking good. And I'm gonna do um, this five quick five minute um, beach wave tutorial on how to curl your hair. And I'm gonna do it with a flat iron. So I'll be telling you guys what we need. I like the flat iron method preferably um, because it smooths the hair at the same time and you have more control. Um, I have this Izutech and I really like it because um, it's kind of rounded and you can kind of um, curl at the same time that you do it. And I'll be telling you what we need. This is what I use. It's about an inch um, that I have here. And then I also have, you always want to protect your hair with a good heat protectant. So this is Protect Me by Sexy Hair. And then I'm going to be finishing off with the Luma Finishing Hairspray. So first you want to have clean dry hair and just blow dry in it so this is with nothing and then we're going to section it probably like the lower half like this and then we're going to section it and oh you can use a ponytail holder but um you can these clips are very good you just want to grab it do a knot all right, so with these waves, these beach waves, um, you don't want to spend a lot of, you don't want to like spend a lot of time on them or think about them too much. You just want to get big sections, maybe like an inch and a half. And the ones that are here in your face, you're going to go away from your face. So you're going to grab your flat iron, like if you were going to just flat iron your hair, and then you're going to insert it, and then you're going to turn it once, and then pull it towards you. And then there you curl it. And that steam that's coming off is just the product that's getting on there. That one's a little too tight. We don't want to make them too tight because we want them like more effortless beach waves. But these, you always want to go away from your face, the ones that are here in the front. So after this, you'll do the same. You'll grab it like if you were going to just flat iron your hair, you insert it. And you want to turn it once and pull it tight. You want to put a lot of tension in it, drag it down, and you can even leave the ends out. That way it doesn't look like it's too done. You don't want to have like Shirley Temple curls. You just want to have curls that are just kind of really effortless. So do it again, insert it, turn it, pull it, and then just like that. We're going to work on the other side. Because my baby hair is going back. So we're going to do it again. You want to get big sections. You can even do two inches. You insert it, turn it just once, and then drag it down. Then you have that. And you, you can do these very quick. These don't have to be super, super long. Like you don't have to take a lot of time on them. So grab it, turn it, and then just pull. And you can do, once you get in the back, you can do opposite directions. And then <clears throat> I have, y'all, this is my first video, so bear with me. I've been wanting to do these for a while, but I just have been shy. But now that I have all this time on my hand, all right, and I'm going to turn around. You can kind of see the back. And like I said, you don't have to be really, you don't have to take too much time on them. So now I'm going to move on to the next section. I'm going to grab my hair, split it. I can do these in big three sections. I don't have to take super tiny sections. <clears throat> move this chair out of the way. Alright, so here again, the same thing. We're going to insert it and here you want it when you get these baby hairs you want to get close to them do it you smooth it out a little bit turn it once and you pull it out 
at a 45 degree angle. You don't want to really do the ends. You want to just let the ends be free and then you can kind of put your fingers through it. Same and you go on you get it like this. Insert it, turn it, and go down with it. You want to leave like maybe an inch out. Then let's do this side. I know it's taking a little bit longer than five minutes, so I'm going to try to go through this pretty fast. So you just want to get big sections. Turn it once, pull it straight, put a lot of tension right here. Make sure it doesn't fall out. All right. And then, that's starting to look better. You can always kind of feel where you have some left out and you can always use a mirror. Grab it, turn it once. And you can do opposite directions. You can do this one going back. I won't do all of my hair. I'm going to drop it down so you guys can see. I feel like the front part is what really puts it all together. I always focus more here in the front part. So I'm going to bring a little bit. All right, here is where you really want to kind of perfect it. So if you want to grab here, Grab it like you were going to flat iron, turn it once, and then drag it at a 45. All right, and then we're going to do this. You want to smooth out whatever is curly. Almost done. See, you can do this literally in like five, ten minutes. Curl it. All right, and then here, you can do the same thing. I have like this short baby hair, so for those baby hairs, you just kind of want to incorporate those. So insert it, go down, turn it. There you go. And then do this one. You want to insert it, turn it. Remember, leave those ends out so they can look more effortless. And after this, we're going to put some hairspray and kind of comb it all through. So it's definitely looking better. But I always want to make sure these here, you turn them away from your face. So grab it and then turn it and then pull it with a lot of tension. Leave that out. And that kind of opens up your face a little bit. I'm going to flat iron this baby here. All right, so you can see. Now after that, if you want to grab a big brush, I have my wet brush. And then you want to just kind of comb them through if you want them even more loose. And then if you want, just add a little bit of volume. You just kind of pick them up and spray them. All right, I'll kind of show you the guys aside. And if you have really frizzy hair, you can get some serum or oil and kind of put on the ends but this just gives you like these beachy waves all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed it before i like log, log off i want to tell my clients that i miss you guys and that we will get through this and i hope to be back doing your hair also i if anyone who's interested i'm going to be ordering root con concealers for your hair um it'll be in light brown um dark brown black and i think like a light blonde i'm not sure but if anyone's who's interested and you just spray them you just conceal it right there at the roots for whoever's interested 
I hope you guys like this video and if you want other videos let me know and I can do um, you know if you want to do like a quick braid or for your kids or whatever else you guys want to see thank you for taking the time to watch this video bye